I'm not getting the shit. There you go. This thing on. What's going on, everyone? What round is this? Is the winner semi? Oh my god. It's going until uh, it's midnight. Hopefully, you guys are tucked in the bed, ready to go, ready to watch. We got Fowler, we got Jack. And uh, I did alright. I did better than I thought when we were going, uh, going online, or offline. Yeah, this might be shit, apparently. I can get it changed, but uh, I don't feel like it. Alright, so we got the Messina coming out from Jack. That's uh, that's the classic, but the real catalyst is uh, Ball and Steve right now. Ball and Steve has been pretty much carrying him throughout this uh, tournament. Not that his Mega Man wouldn't, but. We haven't really seen it as of yet, and I don't think this is a matchup that all of them necessarily even want to go Mega Man, you know? You got in the way out range, and it becomes hard against a sword like that. Steve, on the other hand, has a sword of his own, also an axe, also, uh, you know, a big axe. And of course, that card. That card coming in clutch. Too much for all Steve. I think we just saw a Mega Steve against Nimbus, so. Lots of steeds. Get used to it, honestly. This character is kind of busted once you figure it out. But oh man, Jax is on to figure it out. He's taking that first stock, even though it was looking grim. And uh, let's see how long he can hang on and get some extra credit because Fallen uh, does not go into the night quietly. It's either you match out and then like there's that animation you get stuck in and Fallen can just react, or he didn't wait for you to uh, automatically come out. So. It's a tough situation. It's it's almost certain death if the C player uh, can react at all. Yeah, Fallen definitely one of those players. It's ever so patient, waiting for his opportunities to strike. Fallen sets up the wall so well, and uh, I mean the literal wall. You're seeing it right now. I'm not really having much on getting in. Oh, and there's a shield break, and uh, Fallen's gonna try and match out of that. It's not gonna work out. Tough times. I mean, you always gotta be aware of that option. I mean, Shield Break is uh, it's called that for a reason. It's called that for a reason. It's gonna be called Shield Check. I feel like that would be a much cooler name than Shield Breaker. It's like it's checking your shield, right? When to see if uh, you're gonna shield them, you know, whatever. But I'm not gonna discuss with Sakurai what uh, what it should be called. Yeah, this mic is uh, it's pretty great, honestly. Trying to really get into it, like literally in my mouth. I'm talking about the qualities, like. Quality of this gameplay, looking clean. Oh, okay. Covering his options right there, Jax with the counter. Falling down a little bit. This this is where it becomes difficult because in, in the Steam matchup, whoever loses the lead first probably is going to lose. And you're seeing it right now because Jack has no reason to approach. And then near in the fourth match, one of the cleanest combos I've seen all night. I've only commentated like three sets, but uh then there is match. Oh that was sauce, that was sauce. So Jack's gonna go up one game. Bam. So, uh, let's see what the counter pick is. Small Battlefield is a choice after those bands. Interesting stage list. No Kalos. Not a surprise. I love Kalos, but, you know, whatever. Going so right back. Oh, I should be saying uh, Alex. My bad. I was, uh, I was dead naming uh, Alex. Sorry. Three, two, one, go! All right. So, Small Battlefield. Uh, I... I feel like I remember Fallen saying on uh, in the DBK Discord, which is our uh, Wi-Fi crew, that Small Battlefield is Alex's best stage. We're going to see if that rings true. Let's see if uh, Fallen can get something started. I can see why. I can see why. Because when you set up the wall, that platform also acts as a way to block out your opponent. 
Uh, obviously, that, those platforms are like that for many other stages, but I guess my battlefield is just like the perfect height. And maybe when you mine, you get more iron, which would make more sense on a, you know, kind of looks like an iron stage, right? It's hard to see a million. He doesn't really care what stage, you know, you're going to play on. Does the scene even have a bad stage? I really don't think so. Wow, oh, going through both hits, I think that's why the counter didn't really work there. It like worked initially, but then like the second falling hit, like... How are you recovering against Lucina? Great drift right there using the... What's up? What's that move called? I forgot what it's called in Minecraft, like... I never actually got to the point where I got that jetpack. It's all right, motherfucking type of thing. Oh, dang. I don't know if I can cut on stream. Whatever. Uh, we're, we're not two esports out here, despite the, the name for four esports. Elytra? Okay. That rings the bell. That rings the bell. Oh god, don't approach me. I'm gonna cut the sword to your face. Colin said, stay away. And that's the name of the game right now. And you know, when you have the stock lead, percent lead, it doesn't matter. Steve is going to be uh, waiting and watching. I mean, that was a great beating bonus there from from Colin, you know. Um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna keep building and then you know, I'm right there. It's very tricky. You know, I feel like Steve is kind of game to watch S on his get-ups because it's, it's very hard to react to it and uh, his role in this get-up like I don't know his animation just doesn't shift like most other characters do and I know it's true to the game but it's also very annoying to deal with and I'm sure it did it for Dax too trying to instead of ledge shot it's a relatively good ledge shot character but finding a star regardless and you know he was down but I mean all of them are like 140 plus and Jack can't really take too much consent, but right now it is racking on. Oh my god, another one. That's what happens when you approach Paul and him. You're gonna catch it. And he does the same thing with Mega Man too. Just waiting and watching. Okay. Great speed to hear from Jax. Really keep it falling out. Too much pressure there, I guess. Uh, back to even on that fallen SD. It'll be costly. Uh, I think since it's semis, it's still best of three. So, you know, this is definitely a Jack's opportunity if I've ever seen one because he was down for most of the game and now, you know, not looking too bad. And even game means any, anything can happen. Okay. Oh, nice. Up for his strings. Fox S. Uh oh. Oh, God. No spike, but, uh,. There's definitely some shenanigans going on right now, and I don't think Jax wants any part of it. Even his distance. 53%. Hit this out right now. Because I've done it, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Alex, Alex kind of got some weight on it. A her? I think it's a her, right? I don't like ambiguous. Oh gosh, that light shot is so scary. Why did Steve have to figure that out? Colin, making this slow but steady comeback, gained down a percent, very tough. Yeah, it's not making it easy, not making it easy at all. And this is like a backyard stage, forward tilt, that led the way. Alright, just in airs, trying to get, trying to get any part of the sword to connect with Colin right now. Get, get the grab, nice stage control, oh, going for the jump, but kind of awkward, ti awkward timing. Oh, and trying to up B path. Might have been a good uh, good mix up, but not quite. Jack's gonna advance to win his finals. Probably to play against Omega. But I think, I guess it was Nimbus Omega and the other side 